Okay, so today we are graphing equations in standard form, but instead of rewriting these equations in slope-intercept form, we're going to use the x and y intercepts to graph these equations. And let me show you how. So basically what we want to do is find a combination of x and y that makes this side of the equation equal 12. And the combination of x and y that makes this side equal to 12 is going to be a point on the line. And if we can find two of those points and draw a line through it, we'll have our line. But we're going to use the intercepts because those are the easiest points to find. Here's what I mean. Pretend x is 0. Okay? That means 6 times 0 would be 0. So we're left with negative 4 times y equals 12. What value of y would work so that negative 4 times y equals 12? Well, negative 4 times negative 3 is equal to 12. So y must be negative 3. So the combination of x being 0 and y being negative 3 makes this side equal 12. So that's a point on our line. And if I plot that, 0, negative 3, that's my y-intercept. All right? Now, let's use the point where y is 0. OK, so if y is 0, negative 4 times 0 is just going to be 0. So we could ignore all that, and we're left with 6 times x is equal to 12. So what would, what would x have to be so that 6 times x equals 12? x would have to be 2, because 6 times 2 equals 12. So the x value has to be 2 if y is 0. So yet another combination of x and y that will make this equal to 12, 2 and 0. So if I plot that, that's right here. And now I have enough information to draw the line for my equation. Just make sure that the line goes through these two points. And you're going to have to graph carefully because anytime you're basing your line on just two points, it's really easy to mess up the rest of the line. But that's pretty good. There it is right there. OK? Let's do one more example to make sure you get it. All right. So the second one, we've got negative 5x plus 15y equals 30. All right. Again, we're going to use the intercepts to figure out uh, what our line's going to look like. So let's start with x being 0. If x is 0, then negative 5 times 0 is 0. So we just have 15 times y equals 30. OK, what's y have to be so that 15 times y equals 30? Well, y has to be 2, because 15 times 2 is 30. So there we go. We found our first combination of an x and y that make this side of the equation equal, in this case, 30. OK? So 0, 2, so this is right there. OK, now let's find the other intercept. This time we'll make y 0. 15 times 0 is 0, so we can basically ignore that because it's 0. So we're left with negative 5 times x equals 30. So what does x have to be? Negative 5 times what equals positive 30? Negative 5 times negative 6 equals positive 30. So now we have our second combination. Negative 6 and 0 make this side of the equation equal 30. So we can plot this on our graph. And now we have enough information to draw the rest of our line because we have our two points. And again, draw it really carefully because it's really easy to mess up the rest of the graph if you don't. All right, there it is. And draw the line. All right. So. Here's the thing, though. Remember, you can find any combination of an x and y that make your equation work and plot it on here to draw your lines. But the intercepts are always the easiest ones to find because making one of your variables 0 makes the equation easier to figure out for the other number, OK? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that Like button. Also hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.